I think I decided to pursue the medical scientist training program in part because I love medicine, I love science, and I really wanted a program that integrated the two um, so that I could take the time to really get good at both. Having the background in medicine um, allows you to connect with patients in a way that you can't with a PhD, and the same with the PhD, it allows you to get really, really in depth with the science in a way that you don't necessarily have as much time for with the MD. So I just feel like the balance of the two makes a really well-rounded physician and scientist. I was lucky enough to do a summer program here a few years ago, and I got to really spend a lot of time with the MSDP, and I think I just love the community aspect of it. It's such a large university, and I think when I you know, first was introduced to it, I was kind of worried about feeling very lost in a very, very large space. But I kind of like the community still feels very small and very intimate, and I do feel like I actually get a chance to get to know people. I love that all the students actually were friends and hung out together, and it just felt like a really, really nice environment, a place I could be like at home. I love that the administrators were really involved with students. I got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time um, with faculty, and it felt like faculty were really willing to talk to me if I wanted to and set up meetings, um, and have continued to follow me over time, which has been really nice. Um, I definitely would say my PI is my most uh, involved mentor. Other than mentorship, um, some of the resources I've really enjoyed actually are um, the like the counseling services here and the academic help here. Um, I'm definitely a student who required um, help, um, which I think many people do. I don't think there's anything wrong with needing help, um, but I definitely really appreciate having access to that and maybe and it being so easy to access. My project uh, revolves around biofilms um, and anti-biofilm compounds. In short, biofilms are basically fortresses that bacteria build for themselves in order to protect themselves and adhere to a surface. Your immune system can't get rid of them, antibiotics don't penetrate them, and so they allow bacteria to live and cause chronic infections that are very, very difficult to treat. My work involves trying to develop pharmaceuticals that we can use to disrupt those biofilms and then treat those chronic infections. I think my motivation to study what I study is I want a world where um, chronic infections are manageable. I recognize that it's a massive drain on our healthcare system, especially in regions where, you know, healthcare resources are limited, and oftentimes chronic infections require surgery in order to treat, which is not accessible in low-income nations. And so I want my research to be something that brings treatments to communities that otherwise wouldn't necessarily be able to afford or access it. I think I made the right decision um, because I felt like I've really been able to grow here. Um, I felt like I've built a really nice community. I feel like, you know, when I'm done, I'm still gonna have that community, and that's something that's really important to me and I just in general I feel like I made the right decision because I feel like my career is going the way that I want it to and I'm still happy with it.